like to play chess or, or what, what, watch television or... No. We were going to make out a budget. Budget? Yes. A budget. We're going to figure out how much clothes cost, how much uh, food, uh, electricity, house payments, medical insurance, and you're going to stick to that budget. Oh, but Master, I could blink all those no, things. No, I don't want you to blink anything ever again. You understand that? I want you to sit right down here. You are my wife, and you're going to have to learn to live on my salary, starting right now. You understand? Yes, Master. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'd like a pen and some paper, please. <laughs> I did it again tonight. <laughs> All right. ZD, we're home. Go on in, Major. You're crushed. Now, you, you live here uh, alone? Well, not exactly. Jeannie and I live here. One family in, in so big a house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They will never believe me. <laughs> Good evening, Anthony. Hello, darling. Uh, this is Major Gregorian. This is my wife, Jeannie. Oh, I am very pleased to meet you. It is my great pleasure. <laughs> Your husband has told me everything about you. No, not everything. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, Anthony, you're going to be so proud of me. No, I'm always proud of you, darling. Mm, wait till you see my surprise. <laughs> good, good. Amazing. It has springs. Yes. They give you all this? Oh, no. I buy it. You must be millionaire. Oh, no. This is an um, average American house, I guess, wouldn't you say? Incredible. Uh, darling, I don't want to rush things, but uh, Dr. Bellis is going to come over and pick up Major Gregorian around 8 o'clock. Uh, could we have dinner? Oh, it, it is ready, Anthony. Oh, good. This way, please. Uh, Jeannie's really an awfully good cook. Please sit down. And I will bring it right in. Please sit there. Could I tell you something in confidence, Comrade Nelson? Oh, certainly. In Russia, we do not live like this. I, I have heard a great deal about American prosperity, but I never believed it. You, you live like Tsar, if you will excuse the expression. <laughs> Here we are. Did you make these hors d'oeuvres yourself? Oh, those are not hors d'oeuvres, darling. That is your dinner. Uh, we're on a diet around here to keep the old weight down, you know. I see. Dig in. You should not vote your food like that. It is not healthy. <laughs> Dessert. <laughs> and you shall have the largest piece because you are the guest. <laughs> well, certainly aren't going to put any weight on tonight, are we? <laughs> Jeannie has this fetish about diets, talks about diets all the time. <clears throat> Do you know how much this dinner cost, Anthony? Mm -hmm. 49 cents. That much. <laughs> and that is because the bread only cost uh, five cents. It was three days old. It is stale. Well, you mean you eat like this all the time? <laughs> ah, we shall from now on. <laughs> no, we won't. Yeah, I can explain. See, one of the reasons... Oh, excuse me. I will get it. Would you? Yes. Now I see how you can pay for car and house. You go without food. <laughs> no, no. Uh, this is just Jeannie's idea of a little joke. We had a steak last night uh, that you wouldn't believe. You are right. I would not believe it. <laughs> Please. <clears throat> Pardon me, uh, who are you? Didn't your wife tell you? We're your new boarders. 